Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about Jeffree Star Liquid Velour Liquid Lipsticks. That's the actual name. I have eight of them in front of me here that I'm going to be trying on for you and talking about them um, just so you can see what they look like and how they apply. I just want to start off by saying that they do retail for $18 a piece. Um, and they do come with a good amount of product, I believe 0.19 fluid ounces. Um, I've never like run out of these. There is a channel on YouTube, I don't remember the name, but they actually like swatch it and see like how long they can go um, before it starts drying out or whatever. And I'm trying to remember how many it was. Um, if I do find a video, I will put it in the below bar so you can check that out if you really do want to see um, you know how much product really is in there. Without further ado, I'm going to get started with these swatches and I will do a voiceover of each individual color um, just so you can see um, how they apply and if there's anything specific I have to say about each one. Um, so yeah. First up we have Drug Lord. This is a bright white shade and I bought it solely to use as an eyeliner. I've never worn it on my lips until pretty much this video. Um, but you could if you want. I just find for me it makes my teeth look more yellow than they are. So you know I prefer not to. Um, but these, these lipsticks are actually safe for your eyes and anywhere on your face so that's why I bought it. Alright, so next up we have Virginity, which was in his summer collection a couple years ago. I'm not sure if you can still get it, um, but it is a beautiful lilac -y color. Um, I find I can't really pull it off that well, but the formula is amazing. It's so pigmented. Okay, so this shade is called 714 and it was in the same collection as Virginity. Um, and again, I had higher hopes for this color. I don't really like how it looks on me and I find the formula a bit thinner and streakier um, than some of the other colors, but you know, if you could pull it off, lucky you. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know, I don't use it ever. So this color is called Rose Matter. I think it is beautiful and it would suit pretty much all skin tones and the formula is fantastic. I can't, it's like not too thick, not too thin. You never need to put more than one coat. Like look at that, beautiful. And I'm actually going to be doing a kiss test when it's dry just to see how much residue actually does come off. So it passes. So as you can see, my lips are a bit stained, which does happen with some of the colors, the lighter colors, not so much, but the ready, darkish ones, they stain a little bit. And this is the color called Doll Parts. This is probably my most like reach for color. I find it beautiful. It can be used, you know, for a natural look or like a dramatic look. It's one of those do everything colors, so definitely a favorite and one I recommend to everyone. So, gonna get a little emotional here. This is my first liquid lipstick I bought from Jeffree and it is the infamous Androgyny. I feel like most people have this one in their collection. Um, it is a beautiful, deep, nude pink color. I can't describe it, but it's wonderful on all skin tones. I definitely recommend this one as well. So this is the color Deceased, which coincidentally matches my nail polish. Um, I was not the biggest fan of this color at first, but I realized it looks bomb when you put it on, when you have a super dramatic eye look on, uh, kind of like today. Um, and it's just made for me because I say, like, I'm dead all the time. And to wrap up, this is the color Berries on Ice from his Christmas collection of 2017. And now, this is probably my least favorite, uh, lipstick of his. The color is stunning. I 
wish it worked with me but i just find the formula to be very thick but like sheer at the same time you always have to do like two coats which i knew purple is a difficult color to work with but the packaging is just to die for so i'm not really complaining it's a beautiful addition to my collection but just doesn't work the way i like it to as you can see from my swatches um i'm a pretty big fan of these i have eight like i said and i definitely plan to get more in the future so if you have any other makeup reviews or videos in general that you would like me to do please comment down below and let me know because i need ideas i know i'm creative but like help. <laughs> On a side note, I just want to thank everyone who has watched my tattoo healing video. That video just blew up out of nowhere even though I posted it um, like a year and a half ago. It has over 140,000 views now. Um, so that's kind of what pushed me to start making videos again because I haven't been regularly posting. Um, so yes, I just want to thank everyone for that. I'm, I'm really honored. I, I don't know. Um, I know like some people will be like, oh, it's only that many, but I don't know, I find it, it's kind of cool. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!